Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here. And as you can probably tell from whatever this is, this is going to be a very different type of video for me. I just got home from vacation. I went to Portugal for a week with my family and it was so fun. It was my first time going to Europe. I had such a good time. The point is, I actually did a really good job packing for the first time maybe ever in my entire life. I am a chronic overpacker. I always pack so much stuff and then don't end up using a bunch of it. A lot of the time I'll pack something that I like but I need some key item to go with it that I don't pack a certain pair of pants or it needs a jacket or whatever. But I figured it out. I did a really good job packing. I'm going to tell you about what I packed and how I did it and how it was useful. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about my carry-on too because my carry-on really saved me. We got stuck in Newark. Our plane didn't get canceled. It got delayed by 12 hours. Having the stuff in my carry-on that I brought with me, like toiletries and a change of clothes, saved my life because I was able to clean up and feel like a human person and change my clothes, which I don't know if you've ever spent 12 hours in the Newark airport, but I do recommend changing your clothes afterwards. So I will show you everything. I will show you how it fits in my suitcase. I will show you everything that I take with me. Well, I'll show you almost everything. I didn't show you what was in my makeup slash toiletry bag, and I didn't show you what was in my purse. I showed you my backpack carry-on, but not my handbag. So if you want to see that other stuff, my makeup slash toiletry bag and my actual purse that I carried, I could show you that stuff. I don't know. This video is probably not going to get a lot of interest. It's definitely really valuable and information for me anyway so I can go back and remind myself that it's possible for me to do a good job packing anyway that was a lot of rambling and a lot of backstory that you might not care about let's get into the packing part because that's why maybe why you're here I don't know hopefully anyway here we go for me, starting with a carry-on feels a little counterintuitive typically that's something that I would do last but in this case, I started with my carry-on and my plane outfit because I wanted to wear my biggest, bulkiest, heaviest clothing items first. So I definitely wanted to wear the pair of jeans that I brought. I wanted to wear my boots and I wanted to wear my jacket on the plane. Plus, I'm always cold on airplanes, so this really just works out for the best anyway. It's definitely easier than packing my jeans and wearing leggings, which is what I would typically do. And then I carry on a backpack and a bigger purse. I don't like to carry a rolling suitcase just because they're heavy and cumbersome and I checked my suitcase. But the suitcase that I'm going to pack is technically small enough to fit in an overhead bin. So you could always get rid of the purse and carry on the backpack and the suitcase that I'm going to pack. In my backpack, I keep the book that I want to read. I have my extra charger. I actually have a whole extra little electronic bag a small medical bag, an empty water bottle, a mini bag with my toiletries, and then I have a light change of clothes. So leggings, t-shirt, socks. I also packed underwear, but I'm not going to show my underwear on the internet, probably for obvious reasons there. And then sweater and this big cozy scarf, which came in clutch as a blanket for my son on the plane. I have this medical bag, which might seem extra, but I used almost every single thing in here. The only thing I didn't end up needing to use was the Benadryl, but all of this stuff comes in so handy. I'm going to leave a list of what I keep in my medical bag. And then I also have this little electronics bag that has my chargers, my portable charger, extra headphones, and outlet converters couple of extra masks, eye mask, which also came in handy when I was stuck at the airport. Then my basics toiletry bag. These are just the bare minimum must-haves that I wanted with me because I did get stuck and inevitably it will happen. Book, read this one on the plane actually, and then of course some snacks and an empty water bottle so that I can get through security and then I fill it up once I get 
into the actual airport. I used every single bit of these items. Everything that I packed was purposeful and was used. I was not lugging around a bunch of extra stuff. I was happy for everything I used. And at first I felt like, oh, I'm over packing, I'm overdoing it. But my medical bag and my little electronics bag, even my change of clothes, everything came in handy. I forgot that I also carried on my little fancy little Gucci bag. I didn't want to pack it into my suitcase just in case anything happened. Most of my clothing and accessories and everything aren't really that pricey. So I just didn't want to risk losing my one like actually expensive thing that I own that I took with me. Plus it's really small and not heavy so it wasn't a big deal to add it into my backpack. Now we're going to get into what's in my actual suitcase. I'm a fan of using these little packing organizer things and by the way I'm going to give you these cheat sheets along the way. These little slides that have the photos and the written explanation in case you want to pause and take a screenshot for future reference. Here is my little suitcase. I love this one because it's small and it's really, really lightweight. So at the end of packing, this little suitcase will be just over 20 pounds and my actual backpack once my water bottle's full is around eight pounds, so it's not too heavy for me. I am not very big and strong. Hopefully these packing tips can be helpful if you need a really lightweight way to travel for folks who have mobility issues or pregnant people or whatever the case may be. Maybe you're just trying not to be an overpacker. Now this little laundry pouch, it has my socks, underwear, bras. I'm putting a pair of black tights in there and I'm also going to add my bathing suit and my cover up. I knew that I was only going to be spending maybe two days out at the beach or pool so I only packed one but if you're going on a beach vacation obviously you'll need to make adjustments. I was doing a lot of city walking, touring type of stuff, so I just kept it light on the beach wear. I have some extra laundry pouches, my little heart wristlet, and some of my mini shower toiletries, and then I packed two extra books. I actually ended up needing to buy a fourth book all of this stuff fits perfectly on one side of my suitcase and then I'm just going to put my clothes in some packing cubes on the other side. So what you see here, these are all the pieces that I have to pack. I did already pack my little heart shape wristlet, but I have two pairs of pants, three dresses, a skirt, a scarf, two sweaters, a tank, a t-shirt, and two like button-up shirts. And I know that sounds like a lot when you list it all out, but a lot of these things are more lightweight materials because I am traveling in the warmer months. But I do have a lot of layering pieces. I plan on being out at night. I am going to be spending a day at the beach, so you never know. It might be a little breezy. I like to have the option to layer and mix and match my pieces. These little packing cube things help keep every everything organized, but they also help keep everything sort of compressed and all in one place. So once I get all of my clothes zipped up into these cubes, it is crazy how easily they pack into the suitcase. And I felt like this can't be right. I definitely forgot something because how would all of this stuff so quickly and easily fit into this suitcase. There's no way I have enough. There's no way that there are going to be enough outfits here for me. I've just felt like this was impossible, but I'm going to prove to you that it's not impossible because I'm going to show you just the items that I just packed. I am going to prove to you how many dozens and dozens of different outfits that I was able to create. I'm going to show you some of them. I'm not going to show you all of them because we would be here all day long but I'm gonna show you these little cheat sheets with different styling options. I did tend to stick to more neutrals and more basics. Personally, that's what I like to wear a lot in my real life anyway, but especially when traveling, I like the option to be able to mix and match my outfits and I don't wanna carry around one thing that I can only wear one way. That's why I like a lot of these pieces because they all work and flow so well together. 
When I'm traveling, I want to be able to feel comfortable in my clothes. I didn't pack any, for example, high heels because I was in Lisbon. It's a very, very hilly city. There's a lot of cobblestone and tile and I did a ton of walking. I wanted my feet to be comfortable. I didn't want to be aspirational in my footwear. I wanted to be able to enjoy my time that I was spending out and about. So I definitely went with more simple footwear, with stretchy clothes, things that I could layer, sweaters, scarves, because I wanted to be able to be cute, but I wanted to be comfortable. I wanted to be having a good time and focused on what I was doing and not how I was feeling and what I was wearing. So that's part of the reason why I traveled with jeans because it works with all of the tops. And I threw in some tights so that if I wanted to layer with my other clothing, I could warm things up with tights or also they really dress up that short black dress or the skirt. I like the idea idea of not necessarily feeling compelled to have this aspirational style all the time when I'm traveling, which I think is fine. If that's something that you do, I don't think there's any problem with that. But I think for me, packing got easier when I just wanted to dress for comfort. I wanted to, of course, still be stylish. And I think that a lot of these pieces are really cute, even if they are more basic. It's definitely not your jeans and t-shirt look to wear plaid pants pants and a crop top and combat boots or flowy rust red linen pants. It's not the craziest, most avant-garde thing. Definitely a little bit of something spicy, but it's still comfortable. A lot of these pants have pockets, they have stretch, they're easy to walk around in, they're great to sit around and eat cheese and drink wine in, which is a lot of what I did in Portugal. (laughs) Even though I am doing my best fashion girly impression here with the full-length mirror. The intent of this video, the intent of showing you the selfie mirror thing here is not so that you'll dress like me or buy the pieces of clothing that I'm showing on the screen that I'm wearing in my outfits. It's more just to encourage you to look for the most versatility out of your wardrobe pack things that can easily mix and match together and to encourage you to just go for things that make you feel cute and comfortable and like yourself when you travel. I think part of the reason why I have always been a chronic overpacker is because I kept thinking, oh, I'll finally wear this thing or I need this one dress for this one specific potential situation. I was in such a more is more mindset like, oh, it can't hurt to have more options. In reality, it was always more overwhelming. I felt stressed out and I was worried about packing enough things, having too many things, reshoving everything into the suitcase. And this way, it was so much simpler. I still felt like I had a great variety. I had dozens and dozens of different outfit options with just these, what, 20-ish pieces that I packed. I don't tap into my spare backup outfit that's in my carry-on, just the sweater and the scarf, but the leggings and t-shirt were not touched for any of my outfits during the actual vacation. Maybe you are somebody that definitely needs a pair of heels to wear out to dinner. Maybe you're going somewhere that requires something a little bit warmer or more bathing suits. You can definitely take this idea and extrapolate it out to your own style, to your own trip, or maybe you'll end up taking this cheat sheet and all the outfits and copying it pretty closely with what you already have. Let me know your thoughts. What do you like to pack? Are you an overpacker? Do you have any travel tips? Leave it all in the comments for us down below. Oh boy, I really hope that that was helpful. I hope that this isn't the weirdest, most chaotic video on YouTube today. It probably isn't. I hope that this comes together and makes more sense once it's edited than it feels like right now because it feels very chaotic right now, but we'll see. Or it'll never see the light of day and this will be a really funny little day that I wasted in my life. (laughs) 
Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope that you found something valuable or at least entertaining. And I'll try to link stuff in the description if I can find it. Some things are I can't find anymore, so I'll just find something close. Sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, love your faces. And I'll see you in the next one real soon. Hopefully you come back after this video. Okay, bye. <sighs> okay. Ooh. Unflattering angles. Also, random aside, maybe I'll put this at the end with my other ramblies. Right before I left, I got freaking shingles. Yeah, it's not just for old people anymore. It's just for really stressed out people. <laughs> so I don't recommend that. I do recommend Portugal. Don't recommend shingles. <laughs> I've seen other YouTubers. It's probably fine. <laughs> this is the aftermath. Sorry for this chaotic video where I didn't wear makeup or even brush my hair. Didn't do either one of those. Probably a lot of unflattering angles. Didn't really do a good job of cleaning my mirror that I took all of my outfit photos and videos in. Um, but you know, we're just, it's progress, not perfection. So I don't know what progress I made, but it definitely wasn't perfect. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, my thumb keeps going in the way. What, what is this, amateur hour? Jeez, thanks for putting up with me. You're the best. Love your face. See you soon. Bye!